Hey there guys, it's Eugene with Review Outdoor Gear. I'm just here to uh, make a follow-up video on my Zamberlin boots that I have. I'm just going to go a little bit through how they've been serving me throughout the years here. Um, and then go through a little bit of the maintenance that I've been, I've been doing to keep them nice. Um, and I'll show you kind of what I do and what they turn out like. I have a final product here on the side. So first of all, I always store my boots um, in this box in which I bought them. Uh, so it's just a nice place to store them and all the stuff that you use to clean them. Uh, you just kind of throw it in there and keep it in a, you know, in a nice closet where it's not, not, you know, not in the garage where it's really cold. Um, just in the house somewhere where you have a, no moisture and a pretty good decent temperature. And also store in there, you know, my cream that I have for the boots and whatever else. So I'm just going to go through all, some of this stuff here. So first of all, let me kind of talk about how, the, how they've been holding up. So I've had them for about two plus years now. Um, and I've taken them on a lot of backpacking trips, a lot of just hiking, day hikes, a lot of things like that. And uh, they actually are holding up very well. They're still waterproof, just like you saw in my previous video. You can see a review of the actual boots uh, by clicking the link. And uh, you can see what they were like when I just got them, um, when I was breaking them in. Uh, but since then, you know, you can see right now, uh, I've taken them out probably on a total of 150, maybe, uh, maybe 200 miles total uh, walking. And hiking with a heavy pack, uh, usually my pack is about 50 pounds, 40 to 50 pounds usually. Um, it's funny because on shorter trips it's heavier um, sometimes than on longer trips. Uh, anyway, so you can see here they do have some scuff marks. Um, and this, the, the thing is, after I take care of this boot right here, which not, hasn't been really taken care of, it's going to look a lot better. I did wash it, so you can see it's got some scuff marks. Um, none of the threads are ripped, um, and they do feel actually very well. I still occasionally get a hot spot and a blister if I'm really, you know, out there and it's wet and it's getting, you know, I'm sweating inside the boot a lot. Um, they, they just don't keep up sometimes with the amount of sweat I produce, you know, in the in the, in the shoe and how hot it is. It just doesn't keep up with the you know breathing, um, and you know you you can't really sometimes get a boot that will do that unless it's it's not going to be waterproof, it's just going to be, you know, or not as durable, it'll just be a nylon or something. But uh, I'm really still really satisfied with these boots thus far. Even though they look all worn, I, I, I love them. Um, they're really stable, really, really sturdy. The tread, the lugs here are still very nice. Nothing has ripped off, nothing has come off. And you can see, after 150 miles, that is fabulous. And the kind of terrain I've had these on, I've had them on really sharp rocks. I've had them in mud, I had them in water, leaves, you know, gravel, um, asphalt roads occasionally. I mean, I've really put them through a lot of wear and tear, and I have a heavy pack on, and you can see how well that's held up. It's amazing. Um, you can see a little bit of kind of cracking and, you know, wear here in the front. I mean, you probably can't even see it on the camera there, but it's, um, it's really holding up well. And that's the Vibram rubber soles. The leather, no rips. There are, you know, the front of the shoe gets the most beatings. There are these little things, but uh, overall, very nicely holding up. Um, so, and the Gore-Tex, not leaking at all. It's perfect. Um, not, nothing has break, broken none of the hardware. The laces are uh, holding up quite well. Uh, these are still the original laces. This is on the restored boot here. And uh, no problems, haven't ripped. I have, I've really put a lot of tension on them because they do a, a special... Uh, special knot or a special way of tying it here because I have issues with my heel sitting in the bottom so I have to compress it here a little bit more so I really pull on those laces and they're they're holding up quite well um, so after I go out and I you know on a really nice long backpacking trip or something like that I really take care of my boots so when I come home I'll let them dry out I'll knock off as much of the dust and and dirt and mud as I can after that I give them a really good wash. So I use a brush, something about like this big. Not really hard bristle, it's kind of, they're pretty soft. Um, harder than a toothbrush, but not as hard as like a, you know, your floor scrubber or whatever. Um, so just in the middle. And you just don't want to abrade this as you, as you clean it. So then I just put it under the sink. I get it totally wet. I use hand soap. There are other soaps that are probably a lot better than hand soap. Um, but I just, that's what I use, or just bar soap. I just kind of rub it on the bar soap and just go through all of this stuff, wash it out really well, I mean, until it's really, really clean. Um, and then I let it dry out totally, 
and make sure you, you open up, you take the laces out, absolutely take the laces out. Wash in all these little crevices, get all the dust out. I also take the bottom, I really wash the bottom. There's a lot of little pockets here where things will hide and I get a, um, an a, um, a, um, owl or dowel, whatever, a little needle and I'll get out all the rocks from all around there because they will tear up your shoe. The rocks that get stuck in there, as the shoe flexes, they'll just kind of, they're sharp, so they'll cut into the rubber and your know, soles won't last as long. So I do that. Um, I do have the super feet here, the super feet uh, insoles. Those are really nice. I found them to be pretty good. Um, and I do, I've only washed the inside of these boots once. So, I mean, that's really after like, and I did this, did that this last time. That's really after a long time of use. I put water in there. I filled them with a, a Gore-Tex um, Gore wash that you can use on coats and garments. I put like a, you know, a quarter of a cap in there and really washed it with this brush, all the inside of it, down into there and on the bottom. Really give it a good wash and I let them dry out for seriously like three days. Just out in the hot weather, but not in the sun, just in the hot air. Um, and I just let them dry. You don't want to put it in the sun because it'll dry unequally. It can warp things and crack really bad. So just don't do that. But anyway, that's that's the washing part. After that, after I washed it out, um, there were I noticed a couple of things starting to come off here in the front. For example, um, it's not repaired, but the leather was coming off a tiny bit from the rubber here. And when you'd press it, you'd see a little little cracks here in the front and here on the side right here. You can see the shiny glue now and over here as well. So I had to repair that. So what I did is I really cleaned it out. I took a toothpick. I really got in there and really got all the, all the junk out of there. Um, then I took an alcohol, you know, uh, alcohol bottle, 70% uh, isopropyl and a little uh, Q-tip. Really got in there, washed that all out. The glue that I'm putting on, I've looked online and researched and this seems to be the best glue to use. Um, it's called Free Soul. It's only a one ounce little container. I got it for $7.25 at Mountain Gear. I think that's the best deal I could find. Um, this stuff is really nice. It's really strong. It flexes when it's uh, when it's solid, um, and and it's just perfect. And it's, it's made exactly for this kind of application for boots and and shoes and stuff. Uh, and you can glue soles on, and you can make toe caps if you want. There's all sorts of stuff you can do with that. So I put it in there. Um, and let it dry for two days, basically. You only have to really do it for probably one day with the amount I put in there, but I just I was careful to make sure that they are really dry. Uh, you can see it right there, and you can see it right over here a little bit. Um, and then on the other shoe, the front here got a pretty good, um, the rubber came off a, maybe a quarter inch or so pocket in there. So I really got that all glued up. Um, when I put the glue in there, I put a piece of tape over it to push the rubber against the leather as it dried. So that helped it stay put. And it, right now, I mean, you can see, I'm pushing it and it's on there. It's not going anywhere. Um, it flexes and it's perfect. So good glue. I'd recommend it. Uh, free sole made by uh, Gear Aid. So um, after I glue it up, let it all dry out. Uh, the next step is to go ahead and apply the, the cream or the waterproofing, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is a watershed proofing, hydroblock. This one here, specifically made for Zamberlin. Um, and they're made, it's made for the leather that's used in these boots. So when you get your boots, um, keep this little insert that's in your box. It has a lot of really good information. This tells you how to take care of your boots. It'll go through a lot of details here. It'll show you how to clean your boots. Look, it even has pictures. Check it out. Um, what to do and then what to apply and how to clean them to you know make them last a long time. So this actually is produced by Zamberlin and uh, it's for the specific type of leather that they use. You know, it's it's a hydroblock technology that they use on these boots and it, they they say that this is the best stuff to put on. Um, there's other options, but that's what I use because um, I figured you know might as well just buy what the manufacturer recommends. Um, and I just go ahead and uh, put some on. I'll go ahead and show you because I did one boot and you can see the difference it makes. First of all, it becomes really waterproof or and I mean it really gets the, um, it sheds the water and it looks so much better. Just look at that. There's the one that's been treated and this is the one that's not. And they looked identical before I did that. So it really gives it a nice look and it sheds water. So let me show you. Um, here's the one that's been treated 
and I got a little water and if I just dump a little water in there it runs right off the boot just like that just a tiny bit left there and there so this stuff is really nice it just helps you kind of shed that water off the boot so that not much of it stays to be soaked in for later um, so that's a really good deal so um, just put that on it also makes the leather uh, nice and soft it keeps it from cracking and it gives it that waterproofing and it stays breathable so let me show you how to put that on since I haven't done it on this boot yet and uh, I'll go from there so the way you do this um, I get a little shoe brush here we have a bunch of these at home I'm not sure where they all came from but I'm sure you can if you go to a shoe store um, and ask them for a shoe brush they will give you one um, probably can get them in a lot of shoe care kits as well leather boot care um, so see I've had this I've been wearing it for such a long time so that it's really dry so you put a good amount on if you just start doing this you know after an occasional hike and you really haven't gotten a lot of uh, of time on your boots you don't have to put as much on you'll kind of see but you can see it um, or I can see here maybe you can on the on the video as soon as I put this on it's basically like a looks like butter it just gets soaked in immediately the leather just loving this stuff you know so it goes right in there and you just kind of start spreading it all on uh, you give it a good amount you can see how much I'm putting on quite a bit here um, you just don't want it to cake on the shoe but you kind of tap it on where you need to go and then you start to spread it just like that just uh, rub it in there and you really want to put this stuff in um, and especially right around all the little uh, threads and all around these uh, shoelace grommets you really put it in there uh, make sure you get it really close to the sole here as well this is really important um, that's where water can start seeping in if things start ungluing so just put it on and you want to do this last because after you do this you cannot glue it um, if you if you put this oil basically into the cracks the leather will not be able to bond very well there so you just kind of keep putting it on and even on the tongue here and all around all right, I think you've had fun, enough fun watching that. Let me finish it up and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. So check that out, guys. After I um, check that out, after I put on the cream, look how good that looks. You cannot even see any of those scuffs. I mean, you can right there, but it looks a lot better. And it's now waterproof. I mean, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna, it, it was waterproof because of the Gore-Tex, but it's just actually gonna shed water, and the leather is is loving the food that I'm giving it there, so to say. I mean, it's. You can see how nice and new that looks. And this is, I mean, I really have miles on these things, guys. Look at that. Beautiful boot. So after you do that, you let it sit for at least 24 hours. That's going to allow for the the uh, proofing to soak into the shoe and really soak into the leather. And then the next day, just to help it even more with the water, you know, beating off like that, you take a little fur or a fleece uh, and you just, you just rub it all around. Just polish it, and that's just going to give it a little bit. It's going to take off what's extra on top, and give it a little bit of that um, shine, and just allow it, the water to beat off even better. So just do that, and then uh, put your laces back in, and you're good to go. Um, let them sit for another day or so. You don't have to. You can take it actually out the same day, but uh, it just kind of cures and allows it to be ready for the next trip. So that's how you work on these boots, guys. And if you do that always um, and just make sure to maintain them as soon as you get any kind of issues with them these boots will treat you well and last you a long time like they have been me so far I mean I've had these for yeah about almost three years pretty soon here and I've really put them through a lot of uh, work for me nothing's dripping you know only those little things so hopefully this helps you um, if you have any questions please let me know I'll try to answer and help you out